I want to talk about the subject of appreciation. Now, many of us want to be appreciated for the things that we do for people. Because how would you like doing something for people and they still have a bad attitude toward you? Or they act as if you did nothing for them? Now, that may make many of us angry. But, like I said, we need to get to the point where we do things because it pleases God. Not so much... Yes, we need to do things for people because it pleases God. We should not, per se, do things for people because it makes them happy. Now, it is good to do it for that reason, but what I am trying to say, like, if it don't make them happy, don't say to yourself, well, that is the last time I am going to do something for that person. Don't get to that point. Don't hang your feelings based upon how a person reacts to you. This is what I am trying to say. We should be doing things because it pleases God and not care so much about if it pleases that person or people. Makes sense, right? So let's go to Proverbs 11 and 25. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. So you may look at this scripture and say to yourself, what in the world is this saying? You have to understand, or you may understand, the Bible is like poetry. So many metaphors and assemblies. You have to place everything in context as well. So, if you only read a scripture here and there, of course the Bible is not going to make much sense to you, of course. So what you have to do, and what I do as well from time to time, you have to continue to read for hours or so, even when you don't understand what you are reading and continue to do that over and over and over again and sooner or later you are going to begin to understand what you are reading like for instance I forget when maybe three or four months ago I was really having trouble understanding the whole book of Romans like it did not make <laughs> well to a certain point but in many places I was really confused so what I did I continued to read over and over and over and over and taking my time on it and I don't know the time limit but after a while reading the whole book so many times it started to make sense to me but I had to take my time makes sense right so continue to read it over and over and over again okay and if you have to you may have to look at other translations as well and I know some people say that you should only look at the King James Version yes but what good is the King James Version if you don't understand it so what you should do is bounce back and forth from the King James Version to another translation so you can understand to a certain point what you're reading because <laughs> you know I know some Spanish words so if you gave me a book and it had no English what good is that book to me 
like the book only has Spanish in it and you give it to me and tell me to read how can I read it <laughs> what use is that book to me give me a book with English in it with English in it so this is why you need a translation yes it may not have all the same words or whatever else but like I said what good is a book if you can't understand it okay so the liberal soul shall be made fat and he that watereth shall be watered also himself so what does that mean so you may look at this and say what does being made fat mean or what does watering have to do with anything like watering flowers or something like that no so the liberal soul should be made fat this goes with you are going to reap what you sow whatever you do it is going to come back to you so if you are evil to people what is going to happen to you more evil is going to come your way you can't do bad things to people and expect nothing bad to happen to you it makes no sense so you say to yourself well I am going to do bad to people because people are doing bad to me but more bad is happening to you because you are doing bad to people you can't curse people without being cursed yourself I really hope that makes sense so you are saying that hey I am going to do bad to people because people are doing bad to me well you are going to be doing bad to people for the rest of your life because more bad is always going to come to you because of what you are doing to people <laughs> so you are just hurting yourself if you think about it so let's get back the liberal soul shall be made fat so like I said you reap what you sow so when you bless people God is going to bless you and this is not only speaking about money in some cases your time is worth more than money doing things for people can be worth more than money money does not solve every problem it does not so when you do things for people God is going to bless you so whether they appreciate you or not does not matter because God sees it and he is going to bless you because of it I really hope that makes sense and let me say this I am going back and forth so just follow me <laughs> everyone that comes down your path everyone you speak to everywhere you go it is not a coincidence it does not matter if you are white black brown orange green whatever color you are even if you are poor rich or middle class whatever else it does not matter God is going to test you in the area of life that you are in does that make any sense so everything that happens to you man let me say this you may disagree with me but hey which is fine but you are always no we are always being tested so everyone that comes down our path asking for help or if thoughts of 
of what you should do for other people come to your mind, are you acting upon it? Or are you just saying to yourself, well, let me just do me or let me worry about myself? We are being judged based upon everything we say, do, and how we act. Does that make any sense? So when a person comes down your way asking for help, that is a test. What are you going to do? Well, Kevin, you know, if I give that person money, they may go out and buy some cigarettes or alcohol. Well, what you can do, you don't have to give that person money. You can take that person. If that person is asking for money, what you can do is ask, what do you need it for? And if they say food, well, take that person to like a store or something and get that person what they say that they need. You don't have to give them money. Or if they're asking help, you can help that person. Does that make any sense? So, you know, this goes to me as well. I'm telling you, everyone that comes down your path are you helping that person out in some type of way when they are asking for help? Are you helping that person? Now, some people may say that, you know, they may want to prophesy to people or to teach many people. They may say that they want to heal people and stuff like that. Well, you want to do all these great things for God, but you are not doing the basic things. How can you say that you want to heal many people when you are not doing the basic things? How can you say that you want to prophesy to people and teach many people when you are not doing what you can as you are right now? It is really silly. You want to do all of these great things. You want all this power from God, but with the power that you have now, you are doing nothing with it. Does that make any sense? So let's go back again. Proverbs 11 and 25. The liberal soul shall be made fat. So you are going to reap what you sow. So um, when you help people, when you bless people, God is going to bless you back. So their appreciation means nothing. Who cares? Whether they say thank you or not, it should not matter because you know that God is seeing what you are doing and he is going to bless you based upon what you do. Okay. And he that watereth <clears throat> shall be watered also himself. This is saying, the second part is saying the first, hmm, the second part is saying the same thing as the first part. You are going to reap what you sow. And he that watereth, when you help people, when you do things for people, kind deeds, good deeds, and stuff like that, God is going to bless you back. Appreciation. That should not matter at all. We need to do things out of the kindness of our heart, even if we believe that we are being used which I have been many times, but that does not matter. I am being used now, and I don't care. If it is to help people, now they may say that they need money to do this or do that. I don't know what they are going to do with what I give them, or they may call me, you know, at 2 a.m. or 
or you know ask me for help you know I am trying to sleep and stuff like that hey when I do things for people I am not doing it because I want appreciation or I want a pat on the back from them I am doing things for people because it is pleasing God we need to start thinking that way so whether they still have that silly attitude toward me or well Kevin you know back in the past blah 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 but at the same time I am helping you every time when you ask but you still have this mindset that you know of past times and stuff like that and you still have this attitude toward me even while you were asking for my help which makes no sense <laughs> act silly if you want to I know that I am being tested hey Kevin are you still going to help that person when they are acting crazy toward you and from what Proverbs 11 and 25 is saying the liberal soul shall be made fat so hey I am going to be blessed based upon what I do for people. So whether you have that crazy attitude toward me or think I am this type of way, but at the same time, ask for my help, <laughs> whatever, I am going to help you as much as you allow. I really hope that makes sense. Appreciation, that should not matter. Don't do things for people because of how they treat you or how they act towards you. Does that make any sense? Because if you only do things for people because they pat you on the back and stuff like that, there aren't too many people that treat you kindly or you look highly upon how can I say this there aren't too many people that treat you right yes so if you only do good things for people that treat you right you won't really be doing much things for people because most people are going to be your enemy <laughs> I really hope this makes sense. We need to get out of the mind frame of helping people that helps us or helping people that appreciates our help. We need to help others even when we don't want to do it. And for many people that I help, 99% of the time, I don't want to help them. I want to stay as far away from them as possible, but I don't do that because I know that it pleases God when I help people, even when they give me a headache or when they irritate me. I really hope this makes sense. Appreciation get that out of your head appreciation that should not matter at all it pleases God when you help people it pleases God God bless